Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm your host, Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, the six things that make a man's heart melt. Six things that make a man's heart melt. Um, really quickly, if after this video you go, God, you really need, you want to get some male perspective and you'd like some advice, then click the link below to schedule a free discovery call to see if working with a coach is right for you. All right, those six things, or should we do six things <laughs> that make a man's heart melt? Uh, most of you think it might be something like this. It might be something, babe, do you want to have sex tonight? Babe, do you want to have sex tonight? <laughs> you might think that's what will make a man's heart melt. It's everything related to sex. In fact, men will tell you uh, that will make their heart melt if you are initiating the sex. But that's not the direction we're going to go today. We're going to go a little different direction when it comes to understanding men. And when I talk about men, th this is a bit of a generalization. But if you follow my work, you know I go a bit deeper. I actually go into the human behavior. And when you understand human behavior from maybe the way a therapist views relationships, I think you're going to be getting better advice because I... I really am frustrated with a lot of the dating advice that's centered around what it's centered around uh, pandering to ego and fear and not understanding human behavior. So the the six words that are going to make a man's heart melt, and I'm, this is a little bit of a tongue in cheek, okay? It's um, what do you want for dinner? <laughs> what do you want for dinner? Or what do you want to eat tonight? Okay. What do you want for dinner? What do you want to eat? It's centered around food in this particular conversation. And of course, these are just some examples. Uh, there's no absolute here. There's no right or wrong. But there's an old saying that the way to a man's heart, what makes his heart melt, is through his stomach. It's getting to his stomach. It's like I'm, 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 I'm eating food. In fact, one of my dear friends, she's Greek. Uh, she's an amazing cook. I mean, she's just like, that's her love language. In fact, interestingly enough, my mother, and there's a picture of my mother and father uh, back when they were in their 20s. Uh, oh, and by the way, if you've ever noticed, I always change these pictures up. I bought like about 50 or 60 of these pictures of my kids. Uh, there's a stick it adhesive thing to it. So I change those pictures all the time. But going back to my mom, my mom's love language was food. That's how she showed love. And my father wasn't much of a cook, so he became kind of dependent upon her for cooking. I mean, he wasn't, I mean, he wasn't a complete invalid, but that's how she showed love. And here's the thing about food and where I'm, I'm kind of going with this conversation because it's not about cooking for a guy, per se, that will make a man's heart melt. But it's also about breaking bread together. That's the real gist of what I want to get here. Because eating together is that place where, you know, for some people we pray of appreciation for this bounty that we have for us. And it's an opportunity. This, this, there's the concept of breaking bread. In other words, it's, there's, a, there's a connectivity that happens when you eat a meal together. This is why meal eating should be incredibly sacred. I think we should be, or at least this is my perspective anyway, is I'm in gratitude for the substance, sustenance that goes in my body. And I invite people to take it a little more seriously. I invite people to um, appreciate the experience because when you break bread with another person, it's an opportunity to really connect with them and connect with their heart. And so this is one of the reasons why I always say that a healthy relationship is when two people spend face-to-face -face time, belly-to-belly -belly time together. This is one of the reasons why I'm shocked when I talk to women that tell me they're in relationship with men and I go, well, how often do you see each other? How often do you go out to dinner together? How often do you break bread? And I find out they've been in three-month relationships with someone that they've never seen before. Or, or have seen only once or twice and the balance of their relationship is through their smartphone, through their smartphone. And that's not a healthy way to build a relationship in my book. And when people choose those kind of relationships, it's because they're oftentimes lacking self-love. 
And if you're not familiar with my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? Check out the link. You can go to selflovethebook.com. But this puts you in that position to be in a place to appreciate another human being. And my invitation is buy a book for a guy you're dating and have him read it as well. Because if he's not loving on himself, how can he even be open to having his heart melt? How can he be open to have his heart melt if he doesn't love on himself? Now, there's another book I want to recommend. And if you're not familiar with the book called Spiritual Partnership by Gary Zukav, Spiritual Partnership by Gary Zukav, I highly rep recommend this. He wrote the book Seed of the Soul. And this gives you a grander picture of a healthy, happy relationship, a big picture on what it looks like. Because if you really want someone's heart to melt, it's about bonding together at that spiritual level. That, that spiritual, that when I say spiritual, I'm talking about our higher self. I'm talking about our soul, our spirit. And breaking bread is a great way to connect with one another because it's an opportunity to connect all our senses and everything. And when you, when you sit with someone, it really is a great opportunity to really connect at that deeper level that I invite everyone to explore. And so what's for dinner tonight or what, we, excuse me, what would you like for dinner tonight? What would you like for dinner tonight is an opportunity to make his heart melt. And can I guarantee this with all men? Absolutely not. This isn't, you know, one size fits all. But I'm just giving you some perspective to look outside the narrow lens of all the other dating coaches as men must be chivalrous and men must do this and they must do that. And a lot of that's pandering to ego and fear. I'm here to say we need to start connecting with our hearts from a more compassionate place. This is why I recommend so many books to read so you can connect with your own heart, like I have with my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? Link below. <laughs> All right, I think you get the gist of where I'm going today. If you've got something to say, you've got something to share, please post a comment as well. I want to hear what you have to say. Please post it right there. And I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love because we can all use self-love. And I'm going to give you a big, gigantic hug of love. And I'm going to invite you to turn to someone and give them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love. And we can use a lot more love in our lives right now. Thanks so much and wishing you a super duper wonderful day. Bye-bye now.